All right, she's getting close to zero hour here. Let's do a T3 at four meters, and we're just going to trust the TDC. Damn it, the perfect shot was half a second ago. Well, let's see if we hit her. Let's see if we just plugged it in and let it go, and let's see if that's enough. Let's let Skipper have a little nappy poo. Get them all good to go. Echo. Blue, I need you to go to bed, buddy. You're going to be taking over engine. Ooh. Oh, dear. That's... Ah, it's not ideal. Um, indeterminate size transports. We're going to slam on the brakes. We're going to throw her underneath the water right now. I don't know what we just ran into. It could be a lot bigger than it looks. Shit. Oh, no. There's two of them. There is two ships. Okay. Alright, skip. What do we got going on? Let's pull back on this. Bring her up. Should be to starboard, I would imagine. Alright, we have a British C3 and a British Empire class. C3 is absolutely my target here. Let's go ahead and lock her in. Love sinking C3s. There's something weirdly, uh, weirdly awesome about sinking a C3. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. Good to see you. Oh my God, salted! Don't move the periscope. Sorry about this chat. I just did a dumb thing. Don't move the periscope. I'm so used to getting speed the other way that I never think about it. You know what I mean? I never think about not moving the periscope. I guess I could plug in angle on bow and have it track. Although, I am moving. Still, we'll, um... No, I'd really rather... My... Is my spotlight still on? <laughs> it is. I'm... Positive. I've, tr I've told somebody to turn that off already, and it's just not happening. It just keeps on not happening. Okay. Somebody remind me to turn that damn thing off when we surface, please. Holy crap. Angle on bow. Angle on bow. Alright. Here's me. Here's Chummy Chum. And she's going like that kind of thing. 42 degrees. 42 degrees to green. 42 degrees to green. Uh, no, to red, sorry. Green. 42. So there's 40... 42-ish. Sure. Come on. It's so hard to dial it. 42-ish. There we go. That'll be fine. That's going to have to do. Alright, she is tracking. Okay, let's go ahead and get Blue warming some Turpidus. Oh, that's something else is coming the next build. Forward firing torpedoes can only fire forward, and rear can only fire rear. That'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, she's getting close to zero hour here. Let's do a T3 at four meters, and we're just going to trust the TDC. Damn it, the perfect shot was half a second ago. Well, let's see if we hit her. Let's see if we just plugged it in and let it go, and let's see if that's enough. Oh dear. The manager at the local Ikea is retiring, so I sent him some flour, eggs, and sugar. I mean, I sent him a cake. Thank you, Shade. Thank you. It's important to bring things into perspective. It's important to have perspective. It's good stuff. I think, I mean, all we can do is hope that the TDC is accurate at this point. Looks pretty good to me. That's a kill shot. That is a kill shot. This boat is done. That boat is done. Tyler, let's grab the radio. See if she's if she's calling for help. That is a kill shot if I ever did see one. Four meters center of mass. She is gone. Alright, what we're gonna do is increase the maximum speed, bring the boat up. So we've got another ship to shoot. We're going to shoot her down with the guns. 
All right, the Lorenzo has been sunk, and it looks like she didn't get to call for help, which is interesting. Thank you. Kill the searchlights. Oh, incoming from the SAJ cassette. So, we might actually have someone calling for help. Which is a little worrisome, to, uh, you know, thinking about where we are. We're in a pretty major shipping lane. All right, let's turn off the damn searchlight, please. Turn that off, uh, Enoki. Let's grab the deck gun, please. Oh, we did pick up that message. What do we got? A flash of light, followed by a bang. So the cassette is not the one we're heading towards, actually. This is the Leopold, or Leopard, possibly. So this is not the one that sent the, uh, the call, which is very concerning. Because that means at any time, we could get aircraft or even warships buzzing around. Let's go 10 degrees to port here. Start uh, poking holes in this here boat. You know what? We're going to put two more rounds into this and then we're going to get on with the flak gun. These empires take entirely too much, uh, too much 88 in my taste. Let's put one in here. Nope. Alright. We're going to center this. We're going to jump on the flak. Alright. Hinoki flak gun, my guy. Let's get on the, uh, the little pistol-y looking one. And let's sort of steer like so. Let's slow down just a little bit. Noki is on the gun. Perfect. And what we might do is tell the other members of the crew to open fire on the ship. Apparently they don't want to shoot at the other ship. Well, I mean... I guess it's a democracy. You wish the main gun auto-centered. Yes, that would be fantastic. These little quality of life things, you know what I mean? Alright, she's abandoned and burning. That should be it. That should be the end of her. One assumes. Yeah. Looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Hoo-ah! Hoo ah says Warship. hoo -ah, indeed, my guy. Um, let's spin, let's spin that belt. Just because the next time I go to shoot this gun, if there isn't exactly 30 rounds in it, I'm gonna be super mad. 